Lando Norris and McLaren are hoping to take further strides forward in 2024 as they target a closer fight with Red Bull. Lando Norris joked about walking into the Red Bull garage and stealing their car after a miserable first race of the 2023 phone season with McLaren. After crossing the line in 17 at the Bahrain Grand Prix, the 24-year-old was caught by Netflix cameras airing his frustrations after the session. The start to the 2023 campaign was a miserable one for McLaren and this was depicted in the third episode of the latest season of the Drive to Survive show. The walking-based outfit were forced to retire rookie Oscar Piastri's car after a gearbox failure, while a miserable evening saw Norris cross the line in 17th position. Red Bull, meanwhile, enjoyed the perfect start to the season with Max Verstappen converting pole position into victory, leading teammate Sergio Perez across the line to seal a 1-2 finish and get the ball rolling on a campaign that eventually produced a record-breaking 21 Grand Prix victories in the races. Joking with a member of his McLaren entourage after the season opener in Bahrain, Norris said, I might just walk into Red Bull and steal their car, before adding, just steal their front wing. This prompted his colleague to question, they won't care, will they? Norris then reaffirmed his hypothetical plan, adding, Just go pick it up, walk straight out. Fortunately, for Norris, McLaren managed to close the gap to the eventual world champions over the course of the 2023 campaign. Despite arriving in Bahrain with the slowest car on the grid, four months later the Brit managed to claim a P12 finish at his home race at Silverstone. When the checkered flag dropped in Abu Dhabi, Verstappen had rounded off a dominant world championship but Norris ended the year just one point behind fourth place Fernand Alonso, while McLaren climbed to fourth in the Constructors' Championship standings following a mighty second half of the year. The Bristol-born driver has been working hard to gain an advantage over the winter too. There have been various things already worked on, he explained, both in terms of how I drive, how I work in extracting the performance, understanding these traits, and then putting them already to the test on the simulator and trying to improve them. Sometimes, it's hard to improve various things until you're actually in the car. But to the extent of what I can, even if it's mental things and trying to work on any area that I can to improve it, I would say I've done. 